Coach, you had a disconnect between 400 yards total offense and and nine points. Yeah. Where did well, you see it? Well, I think we just got to take full advantage of the opportunities when we're there. You know, the nice long drive, converted two fourth downs, got to the last fourth down, didn't didn't you know didn't execute it, and that takes points off the board right there. Uh, and then we had another opportunity, uh, you know, where he, uh, the ball got tipped, interception. Those, so those kind of things um, we have to eliminate. Um, there's a lot of really good things that are happening, but we got to score points when we get our opportunities. That's that goes without saying. Coach, how did that miscommunication happen on that fourth and fifth? Well, there was nothing miscommunicated. The play was run. Um, we probably just didn't quite execute it as well as we'd like. That's all. Should Teddy have called a timeout or somebody on the sideline called a timeout? Well, we were lined up properly. I mean, based on you know what we uh, had planned to do. I mean, this play certainly we could execute from the gun or under center. Um, we just we just got to do a better job. That's all. Pick said yesterday the passing game needs to get in more of a rhythm. How do you accomplish that while making sure the running game kind of stays yeah. in rhythm? Well, it goes hand in hand. Um, early in the game, you know, we had a couple three and outs, um, and so it. You know, we got to execute all the plays, whether they're runs or passes. Um, and when you have opportunities, um, we got to take full advantage of them. Got to make sure we put the players in the right position, and we just got to play good football. Javante got his chance to start and yeah. play a lot. What did you make of the duties he carried out for you? No, he did a he did a great job. You know, he's a very uh, very uh, efficient but dynamic player. You know, his ability to break tackles, um, he displays it as a runner. Uh, but he also displays it, you know, as a pass catcher. Um, and he's proven in the time he's been here that he's a hard guy to tackle. And that's a good thing because those efficient runs then become explosives. And it, he did a nice job. How do you balance spreading the ball around on the four seat? Yeah, when you've got so many talented players on the way Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you do the math and, you know, you got 65 to 70 plays, right? And, you want to run it, you want to throw it, and, you know, you try to spread it around uh, so that everybody has an opportunity uh, to have an impact on the game. So, just got to do it. Back, well, it's not that we haven't, you know, called Pat. It's just kind of worked out that way. Certainly, we'd love to see uh, all of our skilled players get in the end zone, and you know, we'll continue to try to, you know, make that happen. Um, you know, I think, um, you know, we've been effective running the football, you know, and that has its benefits. But we also need to make sure that we're doing what we can to score points, and, and most of the time, that's just taking advantage, full advantage of the opportunities that are there. I think <clears throat> the old rookie wall thing, I, I think college seasons are so much longer now, right? And football is sort of a year-round deal. I, I think that's less less of an issue. I think guys do a great job of taking care of their bodies throughout the year. Um, you know, and we don't anticipate that he will. Um, you know, he played at a high level uh, last week, and we'll, we think he'll continue to do that. Um, you know, it is long. It's a grind. Um, but we feel like he's uh, got himself in the right minds, mind, you know, frame of mind as well as uh, physical conditioning to, uh, you know, ride this out. Do you like the same, calling those same run plays regardless with Melvin or Javante on the field? And if so, how rare is that for you to hear that going through? Yeah, I mean, I, it, the, who, it really doesn't matter who's in there. Uh, we, can, we can call the same offense, and that, that is rare. Um, and it's a credit to both of them because they're, they're very multiple in the, what they can do. Now, what was your impression of Mike Boone's first real action on offense on Sunday? He did a nice job. I mean, he had a couple nice runs, um, you know, and there were other things he did behind the scenes that we felt good about. So, no, he performed, he performed well. Lions top corner, uh, Amani O'Rourke. Uh, what do you like nice about him? Yeah. <laughs> Probably be on Sutton quite a bit, I assume, on Sunday. How does Sutton create space or any other White House against that guy? Yeah, I mean, we got to, you know, it's just like every week, you know, we play against these guys that are very talented. So, you know, got to be good at the line of scrimmage, you know, when he's, and then uh, down the field, obviously, uh, be real aggressive to the ball. 
What about their defense as a whole? Stands out. I like how hard they play. I mean, I think they're very fundamental in their approach. Uh, they've got plenty of things that you got to work on, you know, change-ups. Um, but the one thing that's uh, impressive about how they play is um, they're keeping scores down, you know, which is a, the hallmark of good defenses. Um, they run to the ball. They're very aggressive, um, you know, and they have all the, you know, they got talented players. So um, that's what we see when we watch them. And so it's going to be, be a challenge, and we have to play our best to win this game. When you work with a quarterback, how when you're watching film, how much is their discussion of saying, okay, yeah, we got the completion short, but there was an opportunity here downfield that maybe you want to take in the future. Yeah, I think you want to take full advantage of every, you know, every every rep. <clears throat> so certainly, getting completions is, is important. Um, but if there's something designed to go down the field and it's open, you, you know, you'd like to be able to hit on it. So. Yeah, we talked through all of that. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not sure what that question is in reference to, but you know, obviously, we want to try to get the most out of every play. And coach, on, I'm going back to that 20 play drive. Did you realize um, we're in fourth down, four down territory on the third down play, or does, does that just he communicate to you later? Uh, sometimes ahead of time. Sometimes, you know, you know, it's okay. We're going for it. So we're prepared to handle it either way. Well, I'm not. We like to play that. I don't know what you're getting at, but I, I would say um, we like to play. We call it on third down, and it didn't it didn't work out. Um, and then we like to play that we were, you know, intended to run on fourth down. So. And so I guess to your que to answer your question, there are times when it would be said, "Hey, listen, if we don't get it here, right?" or you know, we're going to go for it. So there are times when that happens, and there's other times when, you know, you're ready to go. But we have, you know, I have them listed as to what I would call in those situations. I guess in that series, I'm just curious, like, oh, well, we know we have two downs to, to get two yards. Did you know that at that time? Or uh, we were trying to get two yards on both down and distances, and we should be able to do that if, we, you know, we execute the right one. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Thanks Coach. Thanks, Pat.